With a pioneering spirit, Kirsten Larsen and her family leave their home in Sweden to set sail on a small ship for America. Kirsten must be very brave during their dangerous sea crossing. They leave behind everything they've ever known to begin a new life in the Minnesota Territory. They settle on Uncle Olav's farm, and Kirsten is happy to meet her American cousins. But she worries about starting a new life in a strange land. No one outside of her family speaks Swedish or wears clothes like hers. Kirsten's on a journey of her own. She wants to become an American. She shows a lot of innovation of how she's going to try to make herself into an American. But feeling at home won't be easy. At school, Kirsten struggles to memorize a poem in English. She's terrified of reciting the poem in class. Kirsten wishes she were back home in Sweden. Then Kirsten meets an Indian girl by a nearby stream. The girls begin to trade small gifts, and soon they become secret friends. They learn sign language together, and Kirsten sees that the people others call savages are very much like herself. One day, Singing Bird invites Kirsten to her village. And the chief, who's Singing Bird's father, says, come and live with us, yellow braids. And Kirsten thinks about that rather seriously because she's not liking school. It's kind of a crisis of conscience for her that she stays with her own family and realizes that's where she needs to be. As Kirsten becomes more confident in her new life, her sense of belonging grows. When Papa injures his leg during a blizzard, it is Kirsten who saves his life. She takes Blackie's reins and through waist-deep snow, steadfastly leads them to safety. And when Mama needs help getting ready for a new baby, it's Kirsten she turns to for help. My favorite scene that I ever wrote for Kirsten was the scene between Kirsten and her Mama. Mama knows she's going to have that baby soon and she's resting. Kirsten's Mama begins to talk to Kirsten. I remember the day you were born, Kirsten. I remember so well. And Mama makes it a time between herself and Kirsten that's very close, very reassuring to Kirsten. And then after the baby's born, Mama says, and I didn't forget you, we're going to have a party for you. At last, Kirsten feels at home in America. <laughs>